if you don't eat the crunchy part, you're honestly just selling yourself. <laughs> Did I just get Peter North by a crunchy part? It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. How does Wolverine do it? I guess he doesn't have corn dog. Corn dog. It is so much more difficult. What is going on here? Well, well, well. What up, world? We just keep banging them out around here. And today we're going with a childhood lunch classic. That is a, uh, well, you might call them a corn dog. Up here in uh, Canada, we call them uh, pogos. P O G O. So what do we got up front? We got some ranch. We got some crispy onions. We got some ketchup. We have some bacon bits and we have some mustard all ready for the dipping spree. And I had to pre-dip some tips for the thumbnail, as you saw with my corn dog Wolverine claws. Clutch move, I'd say, for the thumbnail. Gotta bring them in. Gotta draw them in. Gotta get them in here somehow. Gotta get these numbers up. Gotta get a paycheck. Okay. For transparency. Uh, I also brought some carrots and I turned two very like sketchily haphazardly. I didn't think they were going to cut that sloppily into, you know, some like sushi style dogs. And that ladies and gentlemen is because I got this sick new, well, I got a whole set, uh, wooden Japanese uh, utensil set in the in the mail from Amazon. I've been waiting for it for like a month. It came straight from Japan, so it's like super authentic. But here they are, my beautiful new chopsticks that are going to use to kill me in the fire noodle situation that's coming. I promise you. I'm just I'm working up to it. I'm terrified, and I was kind of waiting for these if I'm honest, because I didn't have a pair. I didn't want to go source a pair, and I didn't really want to use pogo chopsticks. And just so you know. Call me crazy, but I did not throw out those crunchy bits. Those will be getting eaten. So, so first things first, I want to snag a sushi bite of the, I got to call them pogos. I'm just calling them pogos. That's it. And I'm going for my favorite right off top, which is ketchup. Bacon bit dip. Oh yeah. What a fine delight. We try a mustard and a bacon. I strictly did these like sushi dogs mainly for the fact that I love eating with chopsticks. It's just so fun. We try a ranch with some crispy onions. Don't know if that's going to be good, but Only one way to find out. It works. But yeah, I straight up just, I love eating with chopsticks. Ketchup with crispy onions. And I wanted to show off my new pair to you, okay? So, this uh, rounded nub is more difficult, but we can make it work, can't we? It's so hard to hold these steady up front.
All right, let's get back to uh, a North American style of eating here. It's much easier to do this, if I'm honest. But I just wanted to flex the chop. Let me know if in other places you have the Pogo brand. I don't know that you do. I feel like it's a little exclusive to up here, but I can't be certain. I will say this for certain though, is yeah, these are bought and I just, I really do. It will happen eventually in an episode, but once I have a few more things set up or moments where I can actually do it, but I really want to make my own homemade corn dog, like for real, for real, for real. So good. It's something I've been meaning to do in life. It's like on my bucket list. I swear, I'm not even lying. Also, the uh, those like Korean, like stretchy cheese ones. I want to do them as well, but it's just such a whole production. I gotta work on some crunchy bits here. Cause low key, no, no word of a lie, these are like my favorite part. Not my favorite part, but you know. It's just part of the experience. You like ha have to eat them. If you don't eat the crunchy part, you're honestly just selling yourself. Did I just get Peter North by a crunchy part? Wow. All right. That's a first. I've been North by the peppers many times, but I just got North by a crunchy part. That flat, that stick was flexing on me. Had to bring some carrots and ranch, nice and crunchy. I have a love carrying around so much. But yeah, the spicy noodle challenge is coming. It's on the way very soon. It's just, I've honestly been watching other people do it. Like I've been getting scared about it. I'm so bad at hot food. And I'm super not looking forward to like it coming out. This is already gonna suck. And I think when it's in the gut in the middle, it's gonna suck too. It's gonna be like so painful, I feel like. Like I honestly God feel like I'm gonna be tripping and be like, I need to go to the hospital. <laughs> I swear. But I watched uh, Sauce Queen do it with her boy there. And they both killed it pretty hard. Sauce Queen murdered it, I should say. But she's hard as fuck, that lady. So it's like, I can't even compare because, like, She's harder than I am, that's for sure. I promise you that. Actually, weirdly, Nick Accato randomly clicked. I saw, like, his video. He just did one, did it the other day with, like, his ex-boyfriend who comes off as a complete psychopathic murderer. They did it, and he, he was so dramatic. Like, it, he made it seem, like, terrible. So that got me all freaked.
it can't be like I know it's gonna be bad, but it can't be that bad towards like, you know. I just gotta man up and do it. Like the 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 noodles have been sitting here for weeks, just looking at me, staring me in the face. Well, not weeks, maybe a week. Just freaking me out, taunting me. But we will proceed. I'm just worried that I'm gonna get like two bites in. And like be answering <laughs> the questions because I I'm doing it like hot one style, or I have to interview ask. I got you guys to ask me questions. I have to answer your questions like interview kind of styles. I feel like I'm gonna get two bites in, and like be just <sighs> white napkin surrender. And then like not actually answer any questions and just be dying. It's in my plans to bring uh like weapons to the fight too, like maybe a little Pepto Bismol, a little vanilla ice cream, some peanut butter. I somehow have this idea in my head that if I eat peanut butter, if it's really bad, that like, it'll neutralize like, just like that thick, smacky, like, texture will like stick in my mouth and like neutralize it. I don't want to have to use it. If I don't need it, but I will, if I do. Just safety precautions, more or less. I don't intend on using it, but I think I may need to. Either way, I'm terrified. I'm also trying to compile I'm the worst like mukbanger youtuber in the sense of like when the holidays come around like you already know there's going to be people doing Halloween themed shit like edible skull brain thing like I never planned that shit I feel like I should do something for it though because we're a few weeks away and I love Halloween. Favorite holiday must be demonic. Um, but uh, here's where I ask for your help. If you guys have any ideas of what you'd like to see for a weird Halloween scare, thrill, cooking, I don't know, something to that degree. I don't really know what to do, but... Maybe cook and concoct something crazy, creepy looking. And then crush it. I don't know. So if there's there any... Uh, Halloween genius ideas out there, please leave them in the comments. So I bought a box of eight of these. My sister tagged one. When I was cooking them, I was like, okay, I need them for a thumbnail, but I'll give you one. And I just smashed seven. And I am unfazed.
could easily eat like three more. Because <laughs> to be honest, corn dog, pogo, whatever you want to call it, legit one of my favorite, like favorite foods. So good. Terrible for you. Because, I mean, let's be honest, hot dog, wiener, you know? That's a no bueno. But. Tasty. Those are my favorite videos. When I actually am able to clear the board, eat the food, enjoy it the whole time. And at the end of it, like, still just be like, I'm good. Like, I don't feel gross. I don't feel full like that. I just feel, like, nice. I feel nice. That was, like, super enjoyable, and I just feel nice. So, uh, if you made it to the end, once again, you're G, because not many people do. I feel like people watch, like, three minutes of this, and then they skedaddle. So, uh, if you made it to the end, cheers to you. Thank you. Uh, please leave any ideas down in the comments and uh, you take care of yourself you have a nice day and you uh, you just you eat good you live well and you just stay uh, true okay see you